jump smile. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you all of my February favorites. And I'm really sorry that this is coming out so late, but I've just been all over the place. And I couldn't get this out on time, but better late than never and I can't wait to share all these awesome products with you. So let's just dive right in because there's quite a lot of things to go through. The very first product that I'd like to introduce to you is this. This is the 1A All Day Mask from Allies of Skin. This is a day mask that you can use underneath your makeup or sunblock. It works both ways. And it's a really smart product that doesn't interfere with whatever else that you're putting on your face. Ooh. I really love using this as a primer because it just works so well. It contains glycerin and it also helps to regulate oil production on my skin. So as someone who has been plagued with oily skin, this is truly a godsend. And I prefer using this over other makeup primers because not only is it great as a primer, it also has so many skincare benefits. So it's like killing two birds with one stone. Another thing that I really love about this product is how efficient and fuss free it is. It pretty much targets all of my skincare concerns in a single tube and there's so many, like so many benefits so I'm actually going to read off the card that it comes with um, just so I don't miss anything out. So what this does is that it brightens, depuffs, refines and tightens skin. It also increases natural production of collagen and elastin, reinforces the skin's barrier and reduces transepidermal water loss, protects and purifies skin against pollution, heavy metals and cigarette smoke. There is a 36% reduction of non-inflammatory acne lesions after 4 weeks of daily use. It's also a nutrient-rich reservoir that plumps skin with healing moisture throughout the day with over 35 powerful actives. I mean, it sounds crazy and it has truly transformed my skin within the two months that I've been using it. So just so you know, this is actually a brand new tube. It's my backup. The one that I've been using is this one and it's almost done. Look at how much I've used. So I highly recommend that you go check out the 1A All Day Mask from Allies of Skin. I swear this has truly changed my skincare game and even my makeup game as a primer with benefits. I'll leave all of the information in the info box and you can go and check them out. The next product that I'm going to be talking about is this. This is the Skin Ink Optimizer Voyage Tri Light. What this device does is that it combines both chromotherapy as well as low frequency therapy and it helps to revive the skin as well as boost the absorption of skincare products into your skin. How this works is that the LED light activates light receptors in the skin which stimulates them. And I know it looks pretty intimidating and strange but let me just show you what this nifty little device does. It comes with three light settings. The first one being red. The red light is primarily for anti-aging and what it does is that it helps to repair damaged skin cells and it also helps to boost the production of collagen and elastin. The blue light helps to soothe the skin. It also helps to alleviate problems such as acne, oily skin, congested skin as well as sensitive skin and this is without a doubt my favorite light setting. And lastly we have the yellow light and what the yellow light does is it helps to revive dull skin by brightening the complexion. It is recommended by Skin Ink that you use water-based products with this device. Personally, I really enjoy using it with my customized daily dose serum from Skin Ink as well as their Pure Deep Sea Hydrating Mask. I've also been using this with my other masks from other brands such as my Fresh Rose Face Mask as well as this Kiehl's Mask that I'll be talking about later. Initially, when I started using this device, I couldn't actually tell if it was significantly improving my skin just because my skin is always so erratic and it was hard to keep track of whether it was good or bad or just misbehaving or it could be anything honestly. So it was only when I had a very very nasty breakout as well as an allergic reaction that this really shone. And ever since that episode, it really made me realize how well this works and how significant um, the difference in my skin is. With this product, I find that my skin doesn't break out as easily. It also isn't as sensitive as before. Usually, my skin turns red very easily, but I find that with this, 
like as I'm applying my moisturizer or my makeup, my skin doesn't turn red as easily as before. And I'm really pleased. I've really been enjoying this product and I will continue to use it. So I would love to say that I would highly recommend this to everyone but it is not for everyone simply because it's pretty expensive in my honest opinion. Is it worth it? Yes. But if it's out of your budget then I wouldn't suggest that you get this. If you would like to learn more about this device and how you can pre-order yours, I'll leave all the links down below and you can go check it out. My next favourites are these two face masks from Kiehl's and this one is the Cilantro and Orange Extract Pollutant Defending Mask and this one is the Turmeric and Cranberry Seed Energizing Radiance Mask. So let me just introduce what these two masks do. The turmeric and cranberry mask has like a clay-like texture and it actually works very similar to other clay masks. And what it does is that it helps to draw all the impurities and oil, dirt, etc. from the skin. It also contains crushed cranberry seeds that help to gently exfoliate the skin when you're washing it off. As we all know, cranberry extract is full of antioxidants and turmeric is actually chock full of anti-inflammatory properties. For the cilantro and orange extract mask, it helps to defend against impurities and replenishes the skin. It's got a very nice thick and creamy consistency and texture which reminds me a lot of mayonnaise. So this one is very moisturizing and it also makes your skin feel very strengthened once you take it off. You can also use this as an overnight mask as suggested by Kiehl's. So I've tried it and it works. These masks are touted to be instant facials in a jar which I do agree. I mean this one makes my skin feel extra clean and this one makes my skin feel extra replenished and moisturized so I do feel like these two go really well together and I would highly recommend them. Now that we're done talking about all that skincare, let's move on to makeup and the very first item that I want to introduce to you which I've already mentioned in a previous video is this. This is the NARS Velvet Matte Skin Tint and I am in the shade Alaska. I've really been enjoying this product. It's the foundation that is on my face right now and it's been on my face every single day since I started using it and I really freaking love this. This product is oil free, has SPF 30 and controls shine. It also has a soft matte finish. If you have oily skin, this would be perfect for you. I do find that it does cling on to dry patches on days when I have them so Maybe not so great for super dry skin. It's actually really pigmented for a skin tint and I know some of you, like me, would be put off by the term skin tint thinking that it might be like a tinted moisturizer of sorts. But no, this one actually really feels and looks like a foundation, just one that is a lot more comfortable and lightweight. So I would definitely recommend that you go check this out if you are in the market for a new foundation and want something that just works and feels comfortable especially in our humid weather. This is really perfect, honestly. Next up, I've really been loving these pencils from Nude Sticks and I also wanted to quickly show you what it looks like in the packaging because it's so cute. Each pencil comes in its own tin and in the tin, you get a cover that also acts as a mirror and you also get a sharpener. I have three pencils and these two are actually featured in my Beyonce inspired video. So I do have one more and this is an eyeshadow pencil in the shade Spirit. What I really enjoy about these pencils is that they have such a great formula that is super long lasting. Now I know most of us are intimidated by the idea of using cream products in our climate and on oily skin. But let me tell you, these pencils blend out so well and they do not move once they are set. Obviously I've really been enjoying the concealer pencil but I have to say my favourite one out of the three is the lip and cheek pencil in Mystic. Now this one has really become a handbag staple. It's so easy to just dab it on my cheeks when I need a little flush of colour or you know when I just want to have a very natural lipstick, this one does the job. Plus they're just so portable, you can actually fit about 6 pencils in one tin which barely takes up any space in your handbag let's be honest and you can practically get your entire face of makeup done with just one tin of pencils from Nude Sticks. I mean if you're somebody who's very into minimal makeup, 
this would be perfect for you but even for somebody like me who's really into putting on a lot of makeup I actually really enjoy these as well. You can find your sticks at Sephora and I would highly recommend that you go check it out because I'm pretty damn sure that there is at least one new six pencil that will tickle your fancy. And that concludes my February favorites. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!